Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. So I finished assembling the Stealth Press heat set insert tool and we're going to try using it now to apply a heat set insert into this printed part. So I am using a pine sill soldering iron for this and right now the pine sill has power. You can see on the LCD screen but I haven't actually heated it up. It only takes a few seconds. Um, I set the heat to 230 degrees Celsius. So that's the heat that I normally use for inserting heat set inserts. And I'm going to just preload into the part here this heat set insert and we'll line it up more or less down below. And now that my pine sill is at my 230 heat, I'm going to slowly bring it down, try and find the correct Oh, almost there and with a little bit of pressure nice vertical insert with no issues and so it is a little countersunk that's not a horrible thing in this situation but so there we go that is uh, you know flush with not flush with the top surface but um, parallel to the top surface effectively so yeah the Build for the Stealth Press was pretty straightforward. It has uh, strain relief on either side of the vertical bar um, to wire um, mount wires for your uh, soldering iron of choice. That way the wire stays out of the way. And in this case, I'm using a silicone PTFE coated uh, USB-C wire for the pine sill uh, going into my PD power delivery charger and it uh, works really well. Now, it retracts automatically using this keyback system, which you can see down below here. And so the keyback uh, wire cable runs up to the top over these two pulleys, and then is um, basically captured underneath here. You see it sticking out below. So it's captured underneath this printed part, which is mounted into the linear rail carriage. And so with that, you have effectively a retractable, auto-retracting um, tool head. Now, there are add-ons for this Stealth Press kit, um, specifically one that would accommodate a Dremel. I believe there's 3000 series Dremels. They might also have 4000 series mounts. Um, I don't have a Dremel myself. I have a third-party rotary tool, but it might be something I would consider. And I may look at remixing the Dremel mount to fit my specific third-party rotary tool. And then maybe post that up in printables. But this is a fun build. I don't know how often I'll use it. Um, I enjoyed putting it together. And it works well for what it is. But um, we'll see how often I feel the need to break out the press rather than just use the pine sill in my hand directly. So there you have it. That's the Stealth Press from Iconic Fab. Thank you to them for the design. Um, link in my description below. Bye for now.